Hey everyone, Josh here from PTZ Optics. By now you have a Move 4K in your hands and are starting to explore all of its features. Here at PTZ Optics, we are always working on bringing you new and innovative features for the Move 4K. And today I will show you how to navigate the IEC, that's image, exposure, and color settings in the Move 4K's newly designed web interface. I will show you a feature we designed to quickly help with your production, UI profiles, or quick profiles for short. These will allow you to quickly switch and tackle any challenge you may face during your production. So here's a brief overview of today's topics. Gaining access to your camera through the web interface. Tuning the camera's IEC settings. Creating, saving, and uploading quick profiles. Let's get started. All right, you've just received your new Move 4K and have already watched the unboxing and how to update your PTZ Optics Move 4K firmware videos. Oh, you haven't yet? No problem. Check out the link in the description and we'll get you caught up. Power your camera on by connecting it to a PoE Plus network or by using the included DC power supply. Then navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash ptzoptics.local. Or if you've previously set up your camera, access it now. Once you are on the Move 4K's login page, enter your camera's login credentials admin and admin. Don't worry, the login credentials can be changed in the future. And we're in. The web interface is a little different than the previous PTZ Optics G2 lineup. We have added in many of the OSD features for easy access and manageability. With that being said, let's take a look to familiarize ourselves with the new layout and where the IEC settings are located. Up front, you have speed settings for pan, tilt, zoom, and focus. Behind the speed tab is the image tab. This is your first stop in configuring the IEC settings. Brightness, saturation, contrast, sharpness, and hue are all definable values for starting your journey and setting up your camera's image. I am going to be sharing with you my recommended Move 4K default image settings. My settings are just a guide to help you get started on transforming your camera's image to the best image for your production. Posted in the description is a link to a PDF that will make your camera's image best for you. Using the provided settings or feeling it out for yourself, I am going to adjust brightness, saturation, contrast, sharpness, and hue. Moving on, we will select the advanced image tab and navigate to exposure. Following the same guide as before, we will start making changes to the Exposure tab, the Color tab, and the Noise Reduction tab. Now that the camera's image is set to an image of our liking, let's make sure we save it so all of our hard work doesn't go to waste. Trust me, this is a step you don't want to learn the hard way. Each of the camera's presets has the ability to save the IEC settings to the intended preset. This allows you the freedom to tune a preset to any type of lighting or time of day and call it on command. Preset 0 is the default preset your camera will call on startup. Since this is a new out-of-the-box camera, today I will set preset 0 and save all of my settings in place. Now that we have learned how to configure our IEC settings, let's learn something new. UI profiles are a quick way to call and save many of your camera's features for use on the fly. Using the left panel, select UI Profiles. Here in this menu, we can set, save, and upload camera settings quickly and easily. Here we can customize your camera with a new logo, profile menu, or change the look and feel of the web interface. Let's just focus on saving your camera's image settings to a quick profile using the profile menu. Start off by giving your profile a clever name, which will best suit the needs of your production. I will title mine, Banana, just for fun. You also have the ability when calling this new image profile to call a preset along with it. Again, I'm going to set my preset to zero so that every time I restart my camera, it'll default to my preferred settings. Today, I just wanna focus on setting and saving the camera's image, exposure, and colors, which we just finished tuning for our camera. Select the checkbox for image settings and 
include on quick profile select. I will want to download all my hard work locally to my computer before moving on, just in case we need it in the future. I also recommend performing this step before uploading new firmware to your camera, in case any settings may change with the new firmware load. Press save and refresh the browser to see what happens. Now, located on the left side under the menu options is a quick preset you can call at any time. Each Move 4K can save up to three of these quick profiles, but you can download and restore as many as your production deems necessary. I have compiled a few more quick profiles to show you how handy they are to aid in your production. Let's check them out. Pretty handy, right? What if you want to change one of the three profiles you set with a different one you created? Well, you saved your previous versions, right? Oh, you forgot to? That's okay. Let's go back to UI Profiles and scroll down to the Quick Profile Select and download the ones you want to save locally on your computer. Now, delete the one you want to replace. From here, you can either create a new one from scratch or upload a version from your computer's file directory by clicking Select File from your computer. Then press Apply. Refresh your browser and you will see a new profile on the left-hand side. For your convenience, we playfully called it Apple. It's that easy to customize your Move 4K to meet your production needs. Just remember that your production is important to us, and the included settings and upload files are for your reference to help you get your camera to produce the best possible image. We will attach recommended settings list and some predefined uploadable profiles to http colon forward slash forward slash ptzoptics.com forward slash get started for your convenience. I hope this tutorial has helped you out with updating your PTZ Optics Move 4K image, exposure, and color settings, and also guide you in using the quick profiles. If you found this helpful, click the like and subscribe button so you can continue to get access to and watch great tutorial videos on PTZ Optics YouTube channel. If you have any issues, you can reach out to our wonderful support team. I have listed their contact information in the descriptions below. Enjoy your camera and we'll see you next time.